So there are a bunch of ways to mobilize the ankle and feet and the ligaments and muscles that are attached. This is a one that I, I like a lot because you have a mechanical advantage because you can decompress. Anytime you're working on joints, trying to uh, try to either pump synovial fluid and stuff like that into them, or you're trying to get some mobilization, you always want to try to add distraction, decompression. So with MJ, I'm going to come in like this. I'm going to bend the knee. Here you go. You got to come in with the hip way up here. You're sitting right against the hip like that, right? That's the setup. Now you come in and look at this mechanical advantage. Whoa, whoa, look at this. I can decompress. I don't have to work at all. My hip's doing all of this. So then I come in and I'm just going to start with simple rocking. Just rock this thing back and forth. See if there's some movement in there. She could use a little bit more movement in here. Decompress, decompress. What about those people with Achilles tendonitis, tendinosis? What a great way to stretch the Achilles tendon. Oh, perfect, perfect. You got all that distraction force going in there. Okay, so just decompress, decompress. Then what if you want to uh, dorsiflex? Check dorsiflexion. Just come in, dorsiflex, dorsiflex. Got to have, you know, 20 degrees of dorsiflexion during gait. Dorsiflex, plant our flex. Plant our flexion is easy with distraction. If she has a little bit of restriction to this, I'm going to ask her to pull her toes toward her nose. So she comes up like that, and I'm going to resist. Going up, two, three, four, five, and relax. And then I'm going to really pull that thing down. You can put some force through here. This ankle is tough. Now here's the one that's important, and that's the subtalar joint, calcaneal joint, the body steering wheel, as my Mentor Dr. Greenman said, it's the most important joint you did not know you have. Subtalar joint. So we're going to grab the heel bone, the calcaneus. This is the rear foot. Remember, we got rear foot, midfoot, forefoot. And we are going to put a, a torsional force through here. Remember, the calcaneal joint does one thing only. It turns the foot out and turns the foot in. Supination, pronation, that's what the calcaneal joint does primarily. So, but you got to stabilize the calcaneus bone, it doesn't work. So see, this way I can put decompression without having to work too hard. Decompress that, grasping the calcaneal bone, and then I just twist it back and forth and mobilize that. Notice the elbow's out. Decompress. I don't think there's a better way to mobilize the subtalar joint than this. I do not. Okay. <laughs>